Hello everyone, I am Srijit Shankar and I work as a senior scientist at the CSIR National Institute for Interdisciplinary Science and Technology, Tiruvananthapuram, India. I am part of the BRICS Young Scientist Forum alumni and I participated in the third Young Scientist Conclave held in Durban, South Africa in 2018. At the outset, let me congratulate you all for being selected to this year's BRICS Young Scientist Conclave. While your selection is indeed a recognition of your talents and accomplishments, the BRICS Young Scientist Conclave is a great opportunity for you to be part of a program that would provide an unprecedented platform to exchange your perspectives on transformational, translational or sustainable research, to forge partnerships at the international level and to initiate collaborations and networking within the BRICS countries. You could well be the part of a young and dynamic team in formulating creative policies and dialogues with respect to scientific, social and economic issues that are either country specific or applicable equally to two or more partners of the BRICS Association. This platform allows you to drive towards fruitful academic or industrial collaborations, ideations and discussions and exchange programs with active participation equally from the young and the established researchers in the member countries. Apart from the research-oriented collaborations and techno-economic discussions, the BRICS Young Scientist Conclave also provides you a platform for cultural exchange and contribute effectively to strategically relevant innovations towards youth leadership in science, technology and entrepreneurship. Identifying common problems, effective solutions to these problems and proposing innovative ideas are all part of this exercise. Though the BRICS nations are geographically distinct and different, there are a number of common problems that we face. This includes energy related issues that are related to both generation, uh, utilization and management, water, health, cyber security and so on. And a group of young leaders sitting together and discussing the solutions for these problems alongside a group of experienced researchers is probably the best and the most effective strategy towards mitigating these problems. Personally, I would urge the participants to represent the voice of your country also at the forum and to establish linkage with other participants from the BRICS states. These interactions are expected to inculcate the sense of leadership in every individual. This is time to set the stage for novel ideologies on research that involve sustainable growth, original ideas of the highest quality and be profound than just being incremental in research and trans translating inventions into innovations. Working on energy management solutions over these years, I could understand that multilateral and regional cooperation is required to find effective solutions for the growing energy inequality and hence to ensure energy security in the big states. The R&D initiative should focus on translation and should be edged towards further commercialization. Active participation of youth in decision making is an absolute must. Continuity and connectivity should be warranted for these efforts to be fruitful. What we require is serious deliberations in terms of identified problems in the context of a multinational perspective and joint ventures to overcome these challenges. With these words, I would like to once again congratulate you all for being selected to represent your country at the BRICS Young Scientist Conclave this year. I would also like to congratulate all the organizers for their commendable efforts in organizing the conclave even in the middle of the pandemic. I am sure that the alumni network will continue to grow and foster with the series of conclaves that would be organized in the coming years as well. Thank you and wish you all success in your endeavors and have a good day.